President Donald Trump has made it his mission to repeal Obamacare. He absolutely hates the idea of socialized medicine, since it means poor people might be able to get access to a service for free without having to fork out huge wads of cash for it, and that doesn't compute in his draconian capitalist brain. Also, Trump despises everything his predecessor former President Barack Obama did by default. When he said he would make America great again, that apparently just meant undoing all the reforms put in place by our country's first ever non-white president. Since he first took up the office of President of the United States and leader of the free world two and a bit years ago, Donald Trump has launched multiple attempts to take Obamacare down, all of which have failed dramatically, usually thanks to opposition from people on his own side. When lifelong Republicans are telling you that your health care policy is way too right-wing, you know you have gone badly off the rails. Perhaps unsurprisingly, his latest attempt to take Obamacare down by skipping the entire legislative branch and somehow attacking it through the courts failed even more miserably than the ones that came before. What must hurt for President Trump most of all is that even those within the GOP are now becoming so used to defeating him on his key campaign pledges that they are becoming really really good at owning him publicly, which is extremely humiliating for a sitting president. For instance, here, two senior Republican legal minds took apart Trump's entire argument against Obamacare in a surprisingly brief and simple way. The district court erred in coming out the other way. It failed to ask whether the now inoperative mandate is essential to the Affordable Care Act as currently codified. How could it be? Instead, it asked whether the original version of the individual mandate, the one that Congress made enforceable with a penalty, was central to the original version of the Affordable Care Act. The court thus invalidated the current version of the Affordable Care Act by assessing the importance of an earlier version of the mandate to an earlier version of the act. To describe the approach is to refute it.